Hi everyone, I'm Kyla. Thanks for tuning in to my little history lesson for today. It does relate to yoga, of course. So the woman Indra Devi, have you heard of her? Maybe, maybe not. Anyway, she is responsible for bringing yoga to um, not just, I guess, the world in general, along with many other teachers, but specifically to females. If you didn't know, way back in India, yoga was a practice just for males. That's right. Only males practiced and taught yoga at the time in Indian culture. Now, in another part of the world at that time, Indra Devi was growing up, went off to study theater, um, read a lot of poetry, was doing some acting, stumbled across some yoga books, and that really piqued her interest. So she had a goal that she would travel to India at some point, okay? Years later, uh, when she was 28, so she was born in 1899, by the way, when she was 28, she went to India and she actually fell in love while she was there. And through the man she fell in love with, she built some really great connections. She did ask Krishnamacharya, the great yoga master, uh, if she could study yoga with him. And she asked numerous times and every time he said no, but she slowly started to build more connections. At one point, she fell ill. She had some chest pains. She did a variety of treatments, nothing worked. So through some of her connections, um, some of the royals, as we'll say, went to Krishnamacharya and they requested that he teach Indra Devi. He was very reluctant, but he felt that he couldn't say no to them. So he took her on and he was extremely hard on her. He was hoping essentially that he would drive her to quit and she didn't. She showed up early, she stayed late, she worked so hard, she did everything that was asked of her and more, and she became one of his best, most dedicated, most passionate, disciplined students. From there, he actually granted her the ability to teach yoga. Her husband was actually transferred to China, so they went over there, and that was a great opportunity for her to open her own yoga studio. After her husband passed away, she decided to move to California. And there she opened a studio, started to meet a lot of people, introduce the practice of yoga to a lot of people. And once the following grew, she then opened a center to train yoga teachers. So now, as you can see, the ripple effect. She taught yoga to a lot of students, she trained some teachers, and then they all started to spread the practice of yoga worldwide. It's not just Indra Devi that we have to thank, of course. She studied um, alongside some great teachers who helped bring yoga to the West. Patabi Joyce and BKS Iyengar are two names um, perhaps you've heard. So they definitely um, did a lot to help us practice yoga today. And there are, of course, many other teachers involved. I'm just mentioning some of um, the big ones that I've studied and uh, enjoy sharing with you. So I hope you enjoyed your little yoga lesson for today. Uh, a nice little fun fact as well is that Indra Devi actually passed away in 2002. She was born in 1899, as I said, so she lived a very long, full life. And I'm very grateful for her. Thank you all for tuning in. Namaste.